Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, they just dropped a new trailer for Gladiator 2, the first trailer. Uh, before we get into this, though, uh, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click that bell. You know, all three for free helps out the channel a ton, gets us in the algorithm for people that like this type of content. And um, yeah, I just watched Gla the first Gladiator, which yeah, will be up on the channel peak. whenever you guys see it. I don't know. It'll probably be closer to when this movie actually drops, but uh, it should be on Patreon very soon. But I mean, ever since I heard about this, I was interested because I knew how praised the first one was. And also Ridley Scott has been... He's been hit or miss lately, just but gonna like, say, very inconsistent. he's just a director that you can always like, kind of be like, that you're there for. I yeah, wonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I wonder what he's doing with this. So, uh, I mean, all I know about this is Paul Mescal, uh, Joseph Quinn, and um, Pedro Pascal is in it, mm -hmm. and Denzel Washington. That's all I know. I don't know what story they're going with. I don't know like anything about like there was a couple set pictures of them in armor but that's it like i don't know how the movie will look fully or anything so um yeah cannot wait to get into this but uh you guys be sure to obviously comment down below your thoughts on this and uh your thoughts on the first gladiator movie anything related to this but without further ado yeah we're gonna hop straight into this so let's go ahead and react to this first trailer for gladiator 2 <laughs> all right hey thanks I hate this. I remember. Oh, look day. at him. He already looks good. Maximus. I never forgot it. Oh, we're like a slave really flashing back. Revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Denzel Washington. He's so clearly, he, he has crazy aura, bro. <laughs> Did you hear that crowd? Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so oh. good. Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Because this wow. is the way Power. <laughs> General Acacius. Dude. Oh, it looks great. Everything looks so polished. Rome has so many subjects. She must feed them. Oh my goodness. They can eat more. This is going to get a lot of technical Pedro nominations. Holy shit. Dog, like, holy shit. Oh my goodness. Into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something. You, I knew it from the start. Did oh, he going through the mud just rage. like. Yeah, just like Maximus. Just like Maximus. And rage is your gift. Oh, walking up the Look steps at like him. Him. <laughs> Oh my. What the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, shit. Yo, let's. That looks so polished. What the hell? Oh, oh grabbing the dirt like him and yeah. everything. Oh, oh my goodness. What could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Oh. Oh my god, is this face a rat? No the? cry, no, oh, I forget the song. Man. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, we got Jay Z in a Gladiator 2 trailer. Belong to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? That people are not free. Is he Maximus' son? I no, I think he's yeah, Lucius, her son. You remember he went to you know, Gladiator? He's like, he's like, but he's like, I don't know, no, I don't know my dad oh, or mom. And that seems like a very, I'll say, I'll talk about it after. Dude, Paul Mescal looks great in the role, dog. Like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Holy shit, Dude, I just got chills. Oh, no, bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh my That's like the kill that uh what's it called did in the first with Maximus. Alright everyone. Well that was the first trailer for Gladiator 2. That lived up to all the expectations. I'm crying. 
I'm literally crying behind these glasses. No, you guys can't tell. Uh, did you see? Did you see? Did you look it up? Uh, who they're playing? Is he who? Maximus's son? Uh, Paul Mescal. So, so no, I don't know that. I just from the trailer it gave me that vibe because in the beginning of the trailer he's very like. Yeah, Paul, I, I don't know up. my. I don't yeah, know my I father. I don't know my mother. Like I don't. I don't know anybody. That moment right there where he's like touching like Maximus's okay, he old is Lucius. armor. He's Lucius. I don't know who's who the fuck. Lucy? That's Lucia, Lu Lucia's um, son from son? the first oh. movie. Okay, Remember? but I'm saying it could very. But I'm saying like it just gave That's me that crazy. vibe because the way he was like touching Maximus's armor and stuff gave me like because he looked up to symbolic. him in the first like, movie, huh? He looked up to him in the original. I movie. know, but it just something about that just gives me like heavy like family like symbolism. His you know what I mean? Supposed to live on. That's like. The whole point of Maximus in the speech at the end. They by may, I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like, in a like, it feels like they feel they're their, their family in a way. But dude, it look this looks so good. It dude. Look, I will say I know this is releasing this year, but holy shit, I did not Was expect not this to, to look, look this polished. I know bro. Like, there's it like looks no faults. perfect. None you have on these the technical side, fucking wide shots of like the Colosseum in Rome, and it just looks fucking real. Like it's it literally looks yeah. real. Like it doesn't it doesn't seem like a like a VFX camera doing the work yeah. or like it's in VFX space. It literally looks real. When the dude's fucking standing on top of a goddamn rhino, that shit literally not a lick of it looked fake. Yeah, I know. not a lick. Like I was like I was dude, I cannot wait for this I shit. Will say also, I will say Jimin Hansu could be in this movie. He could, um, because I don't one, think he will. I don't he, think. He, I mean, he but might. I could he very could. much. He's one of those guys that like just doesn't age though. Like so, like, he very, <laughs> he very much could be like in this movie. No, you know what I mean? Age makes sense. The age makes sense. He, no, I'm, I'm saying though, like he just, like it's not like he's too old. You know what I mean? That he can't yeah. be. It like he, <laughs> the guy doesn't fucking age. But I mean, I isn't Barry Keoghan supposed to be in this movie or something? Barry is he in there? I'm, the I. I don't know, but I thought he was supposed to be in this movie. I could have swore I saw somewhere he was. I don't think so. I mean, he's on Google Cast, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so uh, he might. I don't. He might not. No, he's he not might on not the be. IMDb. He's not on the IMDb. Yeah, he might not be in the movie. I yeah, I, 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 I he thought he is. was, but Paul Mescal looks great in the fuck protagonist. Hi, I'm like, so interested. I remember in what when they this. first revealed him. I was kind of like, I don't know, like Paul Mes Paul Mescal like kind of has a soft look to him, like, but it kind of works. Like it, it works for this like era and like the Greeks and like the way they looked was like they weren't like soup. Like obviously you had some Greek people that were like super chiseled and stuff, but like Maximus, like he kind of like he wasn't he was like more super. Meteor. He was more. Meteor. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he wasn't like super chiseled and shit like that. And Paul Mescal kind of has that like that Greek feel where it's like he's not super ripped, but he can handle his himself, but he still looks like it like an immaculate being like in terms of like his face shape and shit like that like he still mm. looks good like i I'm like really... i like it pedro pascal looks like he's gonna fucking be great in this movie like him and uh denzel washington look like they're gonna be great in this movie but yeah i mean from like the cinematography the, the this this is definitely gonna get a production design nomination the this is gonna design, get a lot of technical the VFX, I mean, like everything about this trailer just speaks to me. Like, yeah, they they're ready to release this shit. The like, only thing I they, don't, they're ready, bro. I'm not they're a fan just, of his Hans Zimmer not returning to do the score. Is who's doing it? it? Hurts. I don't know. I, I remember when it first got announced, a lot of people were disappointed. Obviously, rightfully so. I'd say the score it's too busy working on F1. Too busy working on F1. Yeah, I mean, too busy fiddling with. Cars he's got to choose shit. which peak to deliver. He's yeah. got to choose, but um, who did do the first? I mean, I can't imagine or that really who, Scott. I can't imagine that really Scott world. would would choose Harry somebody Gregson that isn't. Williams. I don't know who this is. I mean, I just can't imagine really Scott choosing somebody that isn't fit for the job. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's worked with really Scott before. Yeah, on the Martian. Oh, he did the Martian Chronicles of Narnia. Mm, his. Mm, oh, he did mm, the last duel. Mm, his filmography ain't. Ain't that crazy? But, but we've seen this. But we've seen this before. Yeah, we have seen this before. Where sometimes, a composer's discography just ain't. It, it sometimes ain't, they it just ain't step like up that. to the back. And there's a director that knows how to like 
bring that shit up out of him like brother you didn't For know sure. you had this in you grabbing him by the shoulder and shit you didn't know you had this in you but you do and they and they show him and i i for one i just can't wait for this movie i'm really interested I, I to feel see like what i feel the like honestly story if they wanted to they could release this shit tomorrow but they're just they're just like we'll let y'all wait i need we'll to know wait. what the story is because you got lucius coming back but he's he's not he it seems like he's not like in the royal like i don't know how to explain Family? it but no, not in the royal family because he is, but there's something about like he's clearly not the emperor. Like detached, he's, like he's clearly yeah, like, like forgotten he's, about. Kind of like Perseus oh, in Clash of the Titans. Like kind of just talking like about that movie, Jesus, because it's peak, duh. But no, because it's the closest thing I can compare it to. Because like Perseus is kind of just like like he's the son of a he's a demigod, but he's kind of just like a castaway. Like, but I don't whatever. think he's a castaway. I think he might have chose. No, no, that no I don't life. think he is. But I'm saying it's kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like just, that. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of that. I'm thing. wondering, and that's like, kind of like Clash of the Titans. Who Persons is, is the like, villain? Because I'm doing this as a man. Joseph not a guy. Quinn is labeled as the emperor, but Pedro I, Pascal is Marcus. Pedro Pascal looks like he's the villain. Obviously, he's wait, fighting was him that at the Joseph end. Quinn? In all the makeup, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even. The only realize. reason I, I, the only reason I realized it was because of seeing photos before, like when they dropped well, it a couple of days ago of his character. I didn't even realize that that was him. Jeez, yeah. that I mean, wow. But now I'm okay. interested. In, like, why is Pedro Pascal the vil? Like, why? What? Why is he the villain that Lucius has to take down? Because it's. I don't know if it's the same situation as the first movie, but it it's makes sense. It's because they know he's going to be Maxwell Maximus, Lord in the future. That's they, they, they know that Maximus, or Maximus rather, like, fought for, like, the betterment of Rome. And, Rome, like, yeah. obviously his clashes with Joaquin Phoenix's, um, what's his name? Is it Commodus? Is it, I forget his name. I think it's forget. Commodus. Um, but, obviously, like, they had... They had a rivalry and beef because of what Comet is tried to do to him and stuff. But like this it doesn't seem like they're going that route here. It seems like like Lucius chose like the life of a gladiator. Obviously makes sense from the first movie. He wanted to be a gladiator. But now I'm wondering why what is Pedro Pascal in this movie? Like what what is he doing wrong? Why is he the villain? What does Lucius specifically have? against mm. marcus is it he's fighting for the betterment of rome as well because if that's just it i've got to say i'm gonna need a little bit more to chew on um he's got to me like if they're gonna go that route he's got to have some type of effect on lucius personally i think the reason yeah joaquin phoenix was such a great villain was not was obviously outside of the uncomfortability of his character, what he tried to do and what he ended up doing to Maximus, yeah. his family, and all of that. So there was a personal agenda as well as an agenda for the betterment of Rome. But if it's just the betterment of Rome here, kind of need a little more. So I'm wondering what the story is here. But I can't wait. Isn't this supposed yeah. to be releasing like November or some shit? Or? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Maybe October. I, I don't know. But yeah, it's during the fall. I cannot but, wait. Uh, really, Scott is back. I'm just gonna say that right now, <laughs> really Scott is bad. Look, I know he did Napoleon. It was a hit or miss for some people. And you House feel me? Of Gucci. And, and how? Yeah, and House of Gucci, back to back, back to back hit or misses. But he, he did the though. Martian within the last decade, so he's capable. He's, he's back, still though. capable. He's back though. This, if there's anything I could take away from this trailer, it's that really Scott is back. I mean, we got Jay Z in the trailer. I mean, geez, like I didn't even expect that. That was that was crazy. But uh, I was like, that feels yeah. a little little weird in a gladiator 2 trailer yeah yeah a little weird expected but something I mean, more orchestraic more more yeah. epic but i mean but I, I i mean i don't i don't, I don't know. it looks was, it looks so it was great far too much good shit happening on the screen for it me looks so really great care. i remember when i watched the first movie all i could stop i couldn't stop talking about the tangibility of everything and just how and this has not lost it, it that's whatsoever. what i'm saying this not really you would think looks, that like in the age of like yeah. digitized movies and heavy vf and the way movies are looking that this would cut dude this is what like i mean that, when yeah, i say like i'm phenomenal. so shocked at how Polished like this looks. is actually might get a VFX nomination, which I did genuinely. I obviously they I have might heard it win. I did no, hear like months Dune, ago um that 
obviously the the budget ballooned but what i heard was that um i don't know if it was a test screener or someone that watched it or a cast member i don't know but i remember hearing someone say gladiator 2 has some of the like biggest action sequences like you will ever wow. see put to movies and i was really? like really i was like i was like okay like all right and like i'm seeing this and i'm like Hold on, I mean, hold you gotta on, wonder. It you gotta wonder, like, what really Scott was able to do with that first Gladiator yeah, movie in terms yeah, of the battle yeah. sequences. Yeah, at just the, the time, scale, the scope. I could only oh. imagine what he could do, like, in now. a modern era with adv more advanced. That's technology, what I'm saying. I could only imagine, and even if like he wanted to budget. go practically, like he could probably like. There's probably just different methods and stuff yeah. for like practical effects at this point that you could just that would make a bunch of stuff so much easier and stuff. Yeah, but, um, I mean, I can't wait for this, man. Me neither. That was great. You guys tell us in the comments below, though, what you guys thought know. about this trailer, uh, maybe the first Gladiator movie, anything related to this, like even your mm -hmm. favorite Ridley Scott movie. Mine's personally Blade Runner. Huge, huge Blade Runner truther. But, you know, yeah, you guys, you guys leave your thoughts because we love discussing with you guys. And if you made it this far, what are you doing? You just watch us yap for like 10 minutes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click that bell. All of that jazz. You guys know what to do. It helps out the channel a lot. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and check out the Patreon. Because my Gladiator reaction will be up very, very soon. And uh, that's probably the best way to support the channel. But other than that, guys. It's been your boy Keezy. Being boy Kills. And hopefully we will see you guys in the next one.